Well, hey there, everybody. It's me, Jessica. I'm so excited to be coming to you live from my living room on a Monday. I feel like it's been a really long time. Let's get right into some moving. I'm going to march my way all the way up to the computer, make sure everything's streaming properly, because uh, I know I've got class coming at you a little earlier than usual. It's the holiday, but I wanted you to uh, be able to uh, turn on your computers. You're like, what should I do today? I don't know. Oh, look, there's a great workout. I can do that. So let's get into our warm up because we got five exercises that we're going to do today. I'm switching to a nice lateral side to side step tap. Give myself some shoulder boost. I hope you'll join me. Uh, if you feel a little confused about moving so many things at one time, maybe you just come into a smaller side to step top. Focus on the shoulder rolls, change directions of those shoulders. Oh, the lighting is here. It is real weird right now. I'm going to let you know I notice. <laughs> and I'm doing my best. Okay. Cool. Great. If you're still moving your feet, plant them down. Rounds equally through them. Fred, chill out. Uh, bend your knees and inhale your arms all the way up overhead. Stretch up from your waist. Shoulders relax away from your ears. Pull your belly in tight. So notice if you were also, also overarching your back. Pretty normal on your first reach up. So squeeze your glutes. Hips push forward, lift your chest, and then exhale, relax your arms down. Can you keep that big length that you just created stacking your head over your heart? If you want, you can still bend your knees a little bit. Inhale your arms up. Reach all the way up. Shoulders release away from your ears. Hips come forward again. So we're just continuing to work on our posture. Exhale, arms down. Two more just like that. Inhale, arms up. Finding that squeeze, pressing equally through all four corners of your feet, shoulders away from ears, hips forward, so glutes are gently squeezed, exhale, arms down. We got one more. This is so great. We're getting one minute of just some big breaths, some alignment for our body, starting to just notice how we're moving, what might, uh, you know, have been like arch surrounding, and then exhale your arms down by your side. Swing one arm over the other. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. I'm coming back to that lateral side to side step tip because I just can't sit still. That's also why we're doing this workout a little bit early. And let's turn this into a nice row with, um, you know, what are, what are these called? The glute kickbacks. So either you're actually just working to kick your glute and your knee is pointing down towards the floor to get a little bit more of a stretch into your quads, or you can kick the barn, the barn door, the barn door shut with your foot, get a little bit more engagement with your glutes. We're going to use both today, so you can do whatever you want. Maybe do a little bit of mix of one and then the other. We're here for just about 10 more seconds. Great. And then uh, back to your march. Either march, or maybe we bring it up to a jog. Let's get a little bit of cardio here, get your heart rate going. So if you saw there's five different moves today, most of them use weights. In 50 seconds, I'm going to show you what the first move is. You can keep your heart rate low, as per usual, staying right here in one spot. You can make your heart rate come a little higher, moving forwards and backwards. Even if you're like bringing your arms up overhead, the more that you're moving your arms, the more that heart rate's gonna come up. Also, maybe you talk back to me, hi, how are you doing today? This is when, when I'm doing a workout at home, I usually say, I'm feeling terrible, thank you so much for asking, but I'm so proud of myself for showing up because literally showing up is the first step to feeling better. Also, I think that bringing your arms up overhead does feel really good. So in move number one, we will be bringing our arms up overhead. And then move number five, even though we're on the floor, we're going to bring our arms up overhead one more time. Because you're worth it. Okay, great. Quiet those feet. Grab a quick sip of water. If you don't have water, great opportunity to march yourself someplace where you can get some. This is not the time to gulp down many sips. This is the time for just like a little simple wetting of your mouth. 
So we got plenty of time to drink water before and after your workout, which is what should be happening. <sighs> move number one. That's a big combo move. Uh, it's early. I think I'm going to challenge myself to the slightly heavier weight to get started. Uh, you do you. If you find that you're moving through this, because we have eight sets, and the first round is too easy, grab some heavier weights. And if like the sixth round is too hard, come to some lighter weights. Okay, so the first move that we're gonna do is gonna be a squat with a little bit of a forward reach. So feet about uh, shoulder width distance apart, shoulders down away from your ears, keep that overarching out of your back, so pelvis tucks under, we're going to lower down into the squat and arms reach forward, weight into your heels. It's going to help you get a little bit lower. Lift yourself all the way up, pressing through your heels, then hammer curl, overhead press, down, down, and then into your squat reach. Stand yourself up, push through your heels, hammer curl, overhead press. You don't need to rush through this move. You want to make sure that you're engaging your muscles. So still making that slow, intentional movement is a great idea because we got eight rounds. Let's start our first one in three, two, one. Here we go. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rush, shoulders down and back, feet firmly planted. You squat and reach, then press through your heels, stand up, hammer curl, overhead press. We're already halfway through. This is why I'm encouraging you to get that heavy weight because we're only going to get a couple reps in each set. Awesome. Take your break. We're still warming up, so it's okay. I'm going to stick with this weight for one more round. Begin. So squat, Woo. forward reach. As you're making that forward reach happen, also think about keeping your chest up. So my chest is lifted, weight is in the heels, glutes stretch towards the back of the room. I'm even pausing there for an extra second to really get that glute work and activate it. Take a break. And try not to round too much through the back. So shoulders stay down and back, chest stays lifted. Three, two, one, here we go. So squat and reach. I actually think these weights are just perfect because trying to find that lift and reach, tiring on the back. I'm only trying to lift the weights, maybe to chest height, and maybe you're not even lifting your weights that high. Maybe you're just finding a little bit of a forward reach so you can get a little bit lower. Take a break. As you're coming into the squat, I want you to think about bringing your hips back and down, back and down. You heard me. Okay, here we go. Shoulders down and back. We're sitting back and down. These weights are a counterbalance so that your knees are not coming forward. Knees are staying like, ooh, ooh. one spot, spot to focus your eyes is going to help. Knees are staying about like in line with your arches, maybe even in line with your heels. Take a break. We're getting that deep squat. We're like really sitting back into the chair. Shoulders down and back, belly in, chest lifter. We're more than halfway through. Keep breathing. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Exhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. I exhale. I inhale. I exhale. I inhale. I'm really trying not to like pause too much in any part of the exercise. Ooh, take a break. Maybe a little bit more in the squat. My shoulders are starting to feel this. How about you? Three, two, one, we're down to our last, what I think is three rounds. Uh, I, I can't read this time. Blessed be this time for just keeping us straight. Trying to keep those elbows in narrow for my overhead press. Like my arms are like going up an elevator. Awesome. Down to what I believe are our last two rounds. We got less than a minute total of work. And then we're going to hit the floor for a plank. Yay, squat and reach. Ooh, I'm gonna need to get a towel for this plank series because I know things are gonna get real sweaty when we hit the floor. Starting off, we're gonna start off planks with an isometric contraction, just holding it. Take a break, one more time through, and then we'll find some movement in the planks. You don't have to if you don't want to, you can just stick with the first plank. Last round of these, squat and reach. 
curl and press. So look at this, we're getting some lower body, we're getting some back, we're getting some biceps, we're getting some shoulders, some chest work in here. Ooh. Oh, we did it. Awesome. Put your weights down. We do not need weights for the next exercise. Grab a towel if you too think you might get real sweaty. I'll grab this pool towel that I sadly haven't used. Okay, quick sips of water. Small sips because we're coming down to the floor in a plank, and I want you to keep that water in. Okay. You can do your plank as a straight arm plank. You can do your plank as a forearm plank. We're going to do two of every style of plank. So if you want, you can mix it up each time. If you don't want to do your plank on your toes, then I want you to walk your knees back. Do your plank on your knees. Okay. Maybe you go for a little bit of a variety of using your knees and bringing your toes down and then bringing your knees back down. My back is tired. All right, we've only got 20 seconds though. So can you challenge yourself to stay there for those 20 seconds? And before we get started, let's even just enjoy some cat cows. Hands palms down on the floor in tabletop. Take some big rounding of your back. Separate your shoulders. And then some arching of your back. Ooh, it feels so good. Look up towards the sky. Oh my gosh, amazing. Great, and then even sit your glutes down, shake your hands out for a second. Wrists got a little bit of a warm up there. Now we're ready for our magical 20 seconds of work. All right, normal plank in three, two, one. Go for it, 20 seconds of work right here. So in your plank, you're doing your best to stack your heels on top of the balls of feet. So notice if your heels are dropping to the floor, and that usually means that your hips are going to lift up, and then you're in like between a plank and a down dog. So you want to shift your weight forward and do your best to stack. Balls of the feet are down. Take a break. You can send your glutes back towards your heels. If you want to bring your forearms down towards the ground for a forearm plank, I think I'll stick here. One more round. So let's get ready. Shift weight forward. We're back in our plank. Pushing down through your hand spots, so make sure you're not sinking into your shoulders, scapula. Eye gaze is gently forward, but we're not trying to let our chin drop down towards the floor. So there's a little tuck back of your chin uh, towards your neck, chest. Awesome, we made it. Uh, next up, we're going to go for a plank with a leg lift. So alternating of just lifting one foot off of the floor. Let's do it. If you're on your knees, you can still squeeze your glute and just work to lift your alternating knee up off of the floor. Otherwise, if you're on your toes, you're just squeezing, lifting a heel up. You can lift it up really high or you can just keep it lifting off the floor. Hold for a second. Try not to let those hips twist too much. Take a break. Brad's playing with the box. One secret to not letting your hips move too much is opening your feet a little bit wider. Let's try it right now. So feet a little bit wider. You can lift one heel off the floor, return it down, keep pushing into your hands, palms, keep your upper back active, keep your belly pulled in. We're more than halfway. For three, two, one. Take your 10 second break. Next feet get to stay planted. We're gonna go for some shoulder taps or maybe you just lift your hand off of the floor. Ready? Begin. So same thing, oops, tapping your shoulder, uh, trying not to let your hips move. Shoulders are not feeling the best. So I'm gonna take this modification. Because it's still plenty challenging. Ooh, take a break. Right here from this modification to lift a hand up off the floor and not have your hips shift left and right. Let's try one more time. However, you're making this a third round of plank work. The slower that you move, the easier it's going to be to not rock side to side. Three seconds left. Two. Yay. What's my last plank option? Off oh, with the knee tap. All right, so we're going to walk our feet closer together. I'm going to bring my forearms down. 
You can stay on a straight leg though. And then you can alternate with your knee tapping, which is a little bit easier. Or you can bring both knees to tap and both knees lift up. Maybe you do, oh my toes, a little combo. Three, two, one, take a break. Oh, we got one more round. Things are starting to glisten here. How about for you at home? Oh, I'm gonna put the shoulders away from my ears and get right into it. Last 20 seconds. Remember, you can just hold a regular plank. Yay, we did it, everyone. We're going to stand up. Stand on up. Grab another quick sip of water. Okay. Next move, you might want a slightly lighter weight than we had for round one. We've got balance coming into play big time. we got to fly while we're balancing. You might not want any weights, and that's okay too. I'm sorry. Well, let's even go down to these threes. Just to be smart. And you know what? I can do the same exercise later today when I'm feeling a little bit more warm. Maybe do a little bit more weight. Maybe tomorrow do a little bit more weight. Maybe do less weight. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter. What matters is showing up for yourself and doing something and doing your best and being mindful that every day is different and that you might need to do something easier today than you did yesterday and that maybe tomorrow's the day you can challenge yourself more. And it's going to depend on things like how hydrated are you? How well did you sleep? How hot is it? Do you have air conditioning on? Like, be kind to yourself, everyone. Just keep showing up for yourself because you're worth it. You're worthy. There's no one better to be than you, and you deserve to be happy. All right, so from this next move, uh, we're going to start in a lunge. I'm going to keep my left foot forward for the first four rounds. Right foot's going to step back, hips turn forward, shoulders relaxed away from ears. So we're starting in that lunge, bam, and then uh, we're going to shift the weight into the left foot. You do not have to come down very far. I would even say keep a bend in this left leg instead of jamming the left knee back. So slight bend in the left leg, right hip down in as straight of a line as you can be. You're going to find a fly, arms come back down, and then quietly leg comes back down into your lunge. Doesn't that look wonderful? All right, four times on one side. In three, two, here we go. Starting right here. In our lunge, back knee down, shift the weight forward to your front leg, hover that toe off the floor, shoulders away from ears, find your squeeze, arms down, back into your lunge. We're going to get maybe like three, four in each round. Woo, take a break. I'm going to step my feet together. Same leg is going to step back. Do you feel that left glute working? Here we go. Right leg steps back, set yourself up, chest forward, hips forward lunge shift the weight round two round two of four so i tell myself because you know i can't read this timer now if you have more space and flexibility and you want to come hinge even further you hinge further i'm not going to do that today set yourself up step that back leg back oops hip forward here we go Finding that lunge, shift, right hip down, right hip down, right hip down, down, down. So you're just trying not to, as you come into your fly, we don't want to rotate to the side and then fly to the side. Don't worry, I'll let us get that move on the floor in just a moment in a future side plank. Take a break. we got one more time on this side. Three, two, one. Back down into your lunge. Shift the weight forward. So as you're lifting up out of this lunge also, you're using this front heel, front heel, front glute working as opposed to the idea of rocketing yourself off of the back leg. How much can you use the front leg? 
Great. Oh, that front glute is tired. We're going to switch feet now. Right leg is forward. Left leg, step it back. Back knee down towards the floor. Here we go. Find that lunge. Shift forward using that right heel planted on the floor. Quietly step back into your lunge. Now, maybe you're not even bending your knee. Maybe you're just stepping back into a straight leg lunge and then working to shift your leg forward. Awesome. I do want you to take a hinge for your fly, but it can be a small hinge. We're just taking that hinge from the hip. So the spine is straight. Spine is straight. Spine is straight. Very normal. If your balance felt a little easier on one side than the other. Oh my gosh, my right to take a break. I'm starting to we're almost there. Then we get to hit the floor again and we'll stay there. Step your left leg back. Find your lunge, shift, squeeze. So for this fly, palms are facing down towards the floor. Hands palms are in line with my chest. Trying to keep that left hip staying downturn. Take a break. We got one more. One more. Three, two, one. Here we go. Step back. And your lunge. Shift. Squeeze. Keeping your head in line with your heart. Ah, oh, did you do great? I bet you did. Let's put the weights down because we don't need them anymore. Grab a quick sip of water. We're coming on down for a side plank. Yay! Is that what I heard? That's what I thought I heard. Okay. No towel. Great. So you can go once again for a straight arm plank or a forearm plank. I'm going to go for that forearm plank down here on the floor. Let me show you some quality variations. Uh, if you need to, keep your hip down and you're just gonna, even with your legs clamshell or with that top leg straight, work to find a little bit of a lift and lower. Clamshell is gonna be a little bit easier whether you keep your heels together, get a little work on the glute or open the thigh a little bit more, a little bit more work on the abductor. Yes, or that straight leg. I feel like that works a lot of everything. Okay, or maybe you're on your knee. There's a lot of action happening. I'm going to let you know. All right, we're going to start in three, two, one. Here we go. So I'm going to keep my bottom knee down on the floor. I'm just going to find this lift and lower with the leg. Starting off round one with my hand even on my hip. Instead of arm up, just to think about being in line. Three, two, take a break. If you can't even find the lift and lower of your leg, if you're just focusing on staying on your side plank, great. I want you to be smart for yourself. Here we go. Round two, same. So I'm doing my best to keep elbow underneath of my shoulder. Oops. Just struggling a little spatially here. I'm a little scared of the bird. <laughs> you can have your toe pointed or flexed. Take a break. Three, two, one. Begin again. So we're still going for a controlled movement, taking your time here for that lift and lower halfway. Remember, if you need to, hip can stay down on the floor. You can still find a little lift and lower. We're still getting some great work. What a great stretch in your upper body. One more time on this side. Hi, Fred. <laughs> All right. In three, two, one, for wherever you are. We're just moving. That's what it's about. Finding what you can do. Maybe even partially through, you say, oh, can I challenge myself? 
a little bit more. And maybe you say, nope, I'm good for right now. Three, two, awesome. We're gonna flip around to the other side. Let's get right into it. Thank you for all your snacks, friend. I'm gonna say no thank you for now. Uh, oh, the right side is the tight side. And that, woo! Remember, slam shell is another way. You can just keep moving, take a break. Have one more round after this, everybody. One more. We got three more sets of this move. You're welcome. However modified or unmodified, listen, maybe you have your bottom leg straight and long in a full side plank, and you're still finding this little leg, leg lift and lower. We got, oh, feels good. We got two more rounds. Three, two, one, here we go. Elbows. It wasn't, oh my gosh, Jessica! I'm just gonna stay right here. I'm trouble lining that elbow really on the floor. So it feels. Three, two, one. We got one more. One more. I got a bruise. What a morning, y'all. Three. Two, here we go. Last one of these. And then, because I like you and I respect your time, we're only going to do four rounds of the ab move instead of eight. I want to make sure we have a little bit of a time for a cool down, and we're already running out of time. Woo! But if you want a little bit more ab work, you know that you can just boop, 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 rewind and do this again. Just the ab part. You can do the whole workout again if you want. A second time to get four minutes instead of just two minutes. Otherwise, we're about to get two minutes of a move as soon as the timer stops. Staying down here on the floor. I'm gonna bring some weights. I'm gonna bring some lighter weights, especially because uh, we have less time for this next round. In fact, we're gonna do two rounds. Two rounds, 40 seconds of work, so we're just doubling it up. 40 seconds of work, we'll double the break. You're worth it. Just two rounds. Boop. Okay, here's the move. Laying down, weighted or unweighted, your choice. Legs up towards the sky. If you can't do legs up towards the sky, your knees are going to be bent. You're gonna alternately reach up to either the outside of your ankle or the outside of your knee. Yep, outside. And then knees can stay bent as you tap your arms up overhead, tap your toes up overhead. See, I promise you're going to bring arms back up overhead. Or you can have your legs straight. All right, in three, two, here we go. So leg straight or bent, I'm going to reach, lower, reach, lower, reach, and then everything comes down. That's right, I added in another reach when the actual movement started. You're welcome. What a delightful surprise. I am just... Full of those delightful surprises. If your lower back is coming off the floor and you get to bend your knees, and with your knees bent, tap your heels or your toes towards the floor. Maybe you don't even find that tap. Maybe you just find your arms reaching up overhead to get a little bit more work in the lat while you work on pressing your low back down towards the floor. Oh, we get a break one more time through. Some big breaths. This is a this is a long break. All right, I'm gonna send my legs back up to the sky to be ready for when the work interval starts. Here we go. So we're gonna reach, reach, both reach. Maybe everything extends all the way along. Maybe it didn't because you're doing what's smart for you. I'm doing what's smart for me. You've seen me do modifications throughout much of this workout. So yes, my abs delightfully strong. Some of my other moves, 
listen, I'm a Jill of all trade, master of some. Almost there, almost there, keep going. Yay, we made it. Relax your arms down, release your weights, draw your knees in towards your chest, stretch your elbows down towards your hips. Keep the back of your head on the mat, tuck your chin towards your chest, stretch your shoulders away from ears. Nice big stretch in your total spine. Awesome. Exhale, release the soles of the feet down to the floor. Open your knees nice and wide. Shift your hips to the right and allow knees to fall heavy to the left. Getting a nice spine twist. Keep your left shoulder on the mat. Getting a nice stretch into your upper back, into your chest. Maybe even make goal post arms bending at your elbows for an even deeper stretch. But if that didn't feel good, then open your arms back to a T. You can look over your shoulder, stretch your neck. And then bring your head back in line with your heart. Extend your arms wide to the <coughs> side. Roll over onto your back. Shift your hips. And let's find our spine twist to the opposite side. Do your best to keep that right shoulder on the floor. Option to keep that goal post or bring the goal post back to your arms. Maybe even separate your legs. A little bit more of a stretch and twist if you need it. Look over your shoulder if you would like to. Shoulders away from ears, engaging those lats down your back again. And then bend both of your knees, look over your left shoulder, close your arms like a book. So right arm comes to the left side and just hang out there for a moment. And then press yourself up into tabletop. Pulling over, hands palms underneath of your chest shoulders, hips on top of your knees. Give yourself some cat cows again. You don't have to stick with just the traditional cat cow. Maybe you make some big circles with your hips if you feel like there's a lot of uh, tension or tired in your low back. If you feel like your shoulders were really worked, maybe you make some big circles with, ooh, yeah, with your shoulders, maybe shoulders coming forward of your fingertips. If you're doing something in one direction, make sure to change the direction. We're at least halfway now, so, you know. Finish up whatever it was you were making happen. Go ahead, tuck your toes under. Send your hips up towards the ceiling. Pedal through your heels. Quick stretch into your calves. Take a generous bend in your knees while you're here, too. So belly comes towards thighs, and your biceps are by your ears. And then you can either walk your feet to your hands or your hands to your feet. So you can shift some weight into your toes, but start to bring weight into your heels. Lift your hips up as you're ready to get a stretch into your hamstrings. Take a moment, shake your yes, and shake your head no. Bend your knees generously. Weight in your heels and slowly roll yourself up. Hips over heels, heart over hips, head over heart, turn your hands, palms, forward. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, look up, bend your elbows, squeeze your glutes, hips forward, just like when we started. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, step your feet together, relax your arms down by your side, decompress your shoulders, proud lift of your chest in a power pose right here. Still squeeze the glutes, hips come forward like you're Superman, but instead of flying through the sky, you're just standing. I want you to think of one super thought. <coughs> oh my God, sorry. For yourself. Yay! And I hope that you're just so proud of yourself for showing up. Whatever day it is that you join me for getting up, for getting some movement, for doing your best, which is I know what you did. Me too. Can't wait to see you again soon. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.